Hi Funk Lovers, I thought we'd have a look at Chicken Grease today, uh, Baseline Pino Palladino album 2000, D'Angelo, um, Questlove uh, production and all sorts going on here. Great bassline. always wanted to know really what was going on, enjoyed listening to it but never really uh, sat down and had a look at it properly. So giving you guys the first eight bars, so have a look at that, uh, take a screenshot of that if you want. And that's that's what we're going to look at today. You'll notice, well, you won't notice because there's no key written on this. It's in the upper port in the upper part of this uh, transcription, but it is seven flats. So pretty much everything you see on that page is flat. Okay. Um, rhythmically, it's pretty straightforward, but we've got to really kind of dial back the um, the feel because everything is pulled way back uh, in keeping with the drums. So. Um, that's that's the real main priority here. Those these little uh, slides and things can be tricky, and some of those mutes are too. But once you get in the flow, you'll be fine. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to pick up the bass, and um, I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, let's have a quick look at this bass line. Um, finger one on the C, just at the D flat. One, uh, 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 four, one. That's your first line. All you've got to remember there is just try and keep the beat or try and keep the bass line back as much as you can. One. Okay. First note there is quite short. Okay. Quite short notes. Next bit is a slide of the D. Now I'm trying to mute this to get that. Sound. Okay, so we've got one, sorry, three, four, one, oh, one, ah, uh, ah, uh. three, ah, uh, one, four, ah, uh. four, okay, one, one. Next bit, it's quite tough that to get it sounding right. And then the next bit, we've got a bit of a weird one. We've got a B flat, mute, an F played, and then that muted A going to the G flat played. So mute, note, mute, note. Sorry. Uh, yeah. If I think about it, it's quite difficult. So um, we're going to do that again. So mute. That's it. So we could just run that for one. That's it. So I'll play the whole line. One. Two, three, four, one. Uh, that's alright. So one, uh, uh. That's it. Two, four, one. One. That's it. So one, uh, uh. So just waiting for that one to go by every time. One, 
down, up, three, one, da da, and kicking off after one, E. One, E, four, one. And so on, yeah? So, uh, it's up to you where you want to play. I'm playing it quite far back here, like, just to get the, 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 the articulation, but I'll probably up the front, one. Um, it's going to sound better. Okay. A few little Pino things he does in this. So, um... Does that kind of Hendrix almost thing where you double stop it on the E and the A to get the dominant and the minor to the F sharp? So, but obviously, he's using it in very kind of it's just tickling it sometimes, you know. Ah. Just put them in very sparse. Okay, guys. Um, interesting bass line. Like I say, it's 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 just the timing of it. It's actually pretty fiddly, and um, I think it's something you'll kind of enjoy playing because it, once you've got it nailed, um, it does it does sit in that pocket really really nicely. Always good to do a pino line. Um, okay, so keep that grease. In fact, did chicken grease come from the idea that some bass players back in the day used to put chicken grease on their fingers? I heard a story somewhere, might be the case. Um, but yeah, it's greasy. It's a greasy tune, it's great. It's a great groove and uh, it's been nice to sort of figure out a little bit more what, um, what's gone into it. Okay, funky people, I will see you on the blob next time round. Until next time.